and there seems to be a possibility in terms of a China trade deal that they might actually uh, offer some agricultural purchases. Is that going to be enough for you, sir, no. in order to get a deal done? What do you need to see at this point to get that deal past the finish line? Uh, we're looking for a complete deal. I'm not looking for a partial deal. China has been starting to buy our agricultural product, if you noticed, over the last week, uh, and actually some very big purchases. But that's not what I'm looking for. We're looking for the big deal. They have a very bad economy right now, and I don't want them to have a bad economy, but it's the worst in, they say, 57 years. Uh, two weeks ago, it was the worst in 22 years. Now it's 57 years, and it's only going to get worse. Their supply chain is being broken up very badly, and companies are leaving because they can't pay the 25, soon to go to 30 percent tariff. China is being affected very badly. We're not. We're not being affected. In fact, we're taking in many billions of dollars. And China's eating that. You know, China's uh, eating the tariffs because of the devaluation. Now, that doesn't happen with all countries. China is China. My relationship with President Xi is uh, a very amazing one, very good one. But we have right now uh, a little spat. But I think we're doing very well. Our country is doing well. Uh, uh, you look at so many different things. Look at all of the regulation cutting that allows us to do what we did. Look at what happens three days ago where you have an attack like that, and it takes out a big chunk of oil and the price goes up $4, $5, and now it's heading down rapidly. That tells you that would have happened uh, years ago. It would have gone up $50. It would have doubled. And this was a blip. So it's been...